Well, good Friday morning. There's a hymn that's been going through my mind, and I just felt like that maybe there's somebody out there on Facebook or YouTube that needs the encouragement and the uh, inspiration that this hymn can afford. And that hymn is a familiar old hymn, Be not dismayed, whate'er be tied, God will take care of you. I've witnessed that firsthand in many incidents and situations down across the years of my life. This is Pastor Hayton, the Lower Lights Devotional, and I'd like to just share with you a little bit about this uh, wonderful old hymn that we sometimes uh, enjoy so very much and such an encouragement in the times of, of difficulty or distress. But it was around the year 1904 that a woman named Sevilla D. Martin was at home, confined to bed because of an illness. Her husband was a preacher, and he was away preaching, and she wrote that hymn, God Will Take Care of You, after her husband came home while she gave him the words and he wrote the music. And I know that this hymn has no doubt impacted many different lives down across the years. And, and to this day, I hope it may impact your life in some way. As I stated before, it certainly has impacted my life. It's given me a blessed assurance in many different uh, circumstances and situations that I found myself in. But I read about one man in particular, 25 years or so after the hymn was written, long about 1930. This man was hospitalized with a severe, severe case of shingles. And I visited people with shingles, and boy, I tell you, they're miserable. Uh, my heart goes out to anybody that is struggling with that. But in addition to a severe case of shingles, this man was struggling with uh, business deals that had failed and with the uh, physical pain there was a great deal of emotional pain and at this period in his life his life was filled with despair and little hope but one morning while he was there in the hospital amidst all the despair and the hopelessness of life he heard this hymn coming from the hospital chap chapel, Be not dismayed, whate'er be tied, God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. Then, of course, the chorus, God will take care of you. Through every day or all the way, God will take care of you. Well, this man followed the music into the chapel, and as he listened, he felt all the burdens of his life begin to lift. All of his worries began to leave him. And he realized through the words of this song how much God really loved him. And later on, he would recall those moments in this chapel, in this time of physical and emotional suffering. He would, uh, he would recall those moments uh, and how it was a dramatic time within his life. You might say, who was this man that was filled with such despair? Well, it was a man named J James C. Penny who founded the, uh, the department store chain, J.C. Penny. And, uh, you know, this man, I believe, was changed. His life was changed. His despair was changed into hope. His uh, faith in God began to reach up and take hold. And oh, what a difference it made in his life. So no matter what you're going through today, no matter what physical pain you may be suffering, no matter what circumstances you find yourself in, no matter what the situation of life, I can assure you, and as I say, I've experienced it firsthand so many times in my life, God is faithful to take care of us. Let me conclude with just a scripture from Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yea, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. May God help us today to claim the promise of his care. Lord, thank you for all those times you've taken such good care of us. And thank you, Lord, for the assurance that no matter what happens in the future, you're going to take good care of us. Thank you for being such a loving Heavenly Father. Bless us throughout another day of life, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share. And like I say, I believe the Holy Spirit directed that for you today, whatever you may be going through. Goodbye now.